Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Thursday, the 9th of September 2021. So stock slump, bonds jump, as Fed fears very high asset valuations. But it's taken a long time to actually come to that conclusion. Uh, not a great day for the infinite liquidity dependent bulls. Uh, no, because uh, obviously uh, they didn't uh, rescue the market. Please don't pop our precious bubble. It's a peculiarity of the human psyche that uh, is remarkably easy to be swept up in bubble mania. And that's, of course, uh, fear of missing out or FOMO, as it's abbreviated to, and remarkably difficult to be swept up in the same way by the bubble's inevitable collapse. Yeah, absolutely. And then you get the opposite where uh, the fear takes over of uh, losing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, yesterday I spoke about the implied volatility uh, in its sideways move, and it's uh, popped up a bit uh, during yesterday, we've gone from 12.42 to 13.55. Uh, we can see just spiking above the average there. I wasn't quite expecting uh, the dramatic start to yesterday morning. As I said, you know, there's something big coming down the line. Maybe we are starting to see that unfold as uh, prices uh, just couldn't hold yesterday. And even the plunge protection team were conspicuous by their absence as well. Uh, news for today, uh, EU. Uh, there's the monetary policy statement, uh, which will be interesting, actually, because um, there is talk of uh, them also announcing some form of taper as well. Uh, so the criminal speaking at uh, 1.30 p.m. Um, so, yeah, 12.45 before the, the Dow opens. Then we've got the uh, weekly jobless claims uh, from the U.S. and then uh, crude oil and a 30-year bond auction as well. But still no big news uh, for this week. So let's start off by having a look at uh, the Dow. Uh, if this is the Dow, this is the Dow. So overnight, you can see we've got further weakness, the market continuing to uh, move lower. Uh, no, this is uh, incorrect. Let me just reload this chart because that's not updated. That's uh, yesterday's uh, showing yesterday's date. So just one second. So, okay, here we go. So yesterday you can see uh, the market uh, moving lower once more. A lot of demand for yesterday as well. You can see the volume is greater than uh, the previous day's bar, uh, which is Tuesday's. Uh, but uh, the weakness continues overnight. You can see we're at uh, through the 62% at the moment. 78 and 89 are the next downside targets. So the market certainly on the short side at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if the market gets uh, pulled back, if it gets down to this level. Again, you can see that demand in the market there. But at the moment, uh, certainly on the short side for the uh, Dow, uh, just uh, below yesterday's low on the 30 minute and the S1. In the German DAX, well, we see a similar picture to this. Um, there you can see yesterday, big move to the downside yesterday. I don't know whether it's because there are rumors of tapering or what, but uh, it was a bit of a shocker when the market opened and dropped 100 points uh, immediately. It had gone short just after the futures market uh, opened as well, had a rally and then moved lower, which we'll look at in just a moment. So 89 is going to be important because you've got this support over here. But again, uh, down to this level, of course, is where we had the last recovery to make the new all-time high of 16,030. It's a question of are they going to rescue the market? I'm sure they will. Uh, it doesn't seem like they want to uh, drop this yet, maybe another month uh, until they do or until Powell decides what he's going to do with tapering. But uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see them bring the market back, which they've done uh, on numerous occasions for the last 13 years. At the moment, we're through the low. The market attempted to try and come back, as we can see there, but then continued lower. It's broken the BRN. Uh, but don't be fooled by that. Uh, they could soon bring it back when the futures open. But you can see yesterday in the futures market, so we moved higher and then we sold off. And then when the market opened, we just dropped 150 points. Well, it was 200 by the time we got uh, to 10 a.m. Before then, we had this massive uh, uh, pullback here in the market. Uh, but this didn't hold as we went into lunchtime. And then the market uh, traded all the way back down as the Dow came on stream, tried to move higher and then uh, saw prices moving uh, back to the downside. Meanwhile, overnight in the two minute chart, it's been fairly quiet until uh, around uh, 4 a.m. Then you can see it's starting to uh, get uh, quite uh, active and moving to the downside. So at the moment, the future sellers 
or anybody on the electronic system is uh, moving the market to the downside. But like I say, it uh, doesn't take a lot to actually turn these markets around and bring them back, as we've seen on many occasions. Uh, let's just find the uh, the metals markets uh, again under massive pressure as i've already said that they were going to bring the markets down this week and that's exactly what they're doing now 2350 is going to be today's downside target i'll be very surprised if we don't hit this or even trade below it and as i've said before uh, down to 22 32 or at least 89 percent of uh, the move from uh, this low to uh, this high which brings you down to 2260. Uh, I still have an order a limit order in to buy at $20 uh, just in case they do decide to uh, bring it back that far but uh, we'll see the 22 uh, 32 is going to be a very interesting area or the 22 uh, 50 area but uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they don't see this hammered down uh, because that's what they want to do at the moment with uh, silver. They just can't uh, afford to have the price uh, rising. Same with gold. This is down on the overnight, but not as much as silver in percentage terms because I can see this from the gold-silver ratio where, uh, again, you can tell when silver's being hammered more than gold because uh, you'll see the uh, the ratio moving back to the upside. And we're seeing that at the moment uh, up to 74 pieces of silver to one ounce of uh, gold. So back to uh, the charts and also, of course, uh, we get the right one. We've got a situation where uh, uh, the dollar is moving back to the upside. There is some uh, selling pressure in the dollar for yesterday, uh, but uh, that's uh, soon been discounted and is now moving back to the upside. You can see the selling there in the 30 minute chart, bringing the market back, but uh, they're not letting the dollar drop, as I've told you before. All currencies are basket cases. It just happens to be that the dollar is the better of those uh, in the uh, basket. Simple as that. They're all devaluing against inflation. But uh, like I say, they're not going to let the price of silver go up until uh, they uh, are ready to move the price of silver up. And they stop manipulating it, which, uh, like I say, we saw again yesterday. Um, and it's, it's quite... Uh, stark when you actually uh, look again exactly what we've seen for weeks if not years uh, with uh, the price of silver how they keep doing this bang on that you could set you you can set your clock uh, by it and it's a shame there is no spread betting company that hasn't got a narrow spread because it would be the best trade so predictable be the best trade that you could actually do in an afternoon because of how they manipulate the price to the downside. I mean, have a look at um, the Kitco uh, chart from uh, yesterday. Let me just see if I can uh, find it for you. So here you go, because this is exactly what I mean. It's interesting, isn't it? You know, gold gold is moving up and then they hammer silver to the downside. They did bring it back a bit, but uh, yeah, it's, it's again fascinating to uh, see, isn't it? What uh, the manipulation is, it's so predictable. It's like this. Uh, every afternoon at 1.30 you can set your watch by it and then 2.30 they give it another another bit of a hammering as well and you can see that uh, here so yeah um yeah like i say it's a shame there isn't a spread betting company that's got a, a one point spread on that because uh, you could uh, hit that every afternoon at the moment that's the way it's been as you've seen in the market uh, alert but like I say, it's down to uh, the dollar at the moment. That's the uh, the key there. It's uh, moving to the upside. We are getting towards the expiration of uh, of this, but uh, at the moment it's uh, still trying to attempt to move to the upside. Who knows, one day they may surprise us and allow the market to actually move in the correct direction. When you think about this, every other metal, aluminium, copper, etc. is at record highs, and yet silver is half the price it was in 1979. So work it out for yourself. If that isn't blatant manipulation, then I don't know what is. So yeah, let's just go back to yesterday in the DAX. So you can see the futures market uh, moving to the upside. Then all of a sudden they started selling futures in the Dow and this brought the market back and it set the tone really for when the market opened. We're already back at the low and it was just uh, straight off the bat uh, down uh, she went all the way down for 200 points uh, it was already so uh, selling off to begin with and then uh, couldn't bring it back uh, above the low you can see them there's an attempt but then they sell straight into it if i rewind this you'll see that with uh, more detail we'll just go back to that point 
somewhere around here you'll see them trying to buy back it in this bar you can see the volume there and then uh, it's hit with uh, selling in this bar I just uh, do this a bit more slowly you'll be able to see there you go so then they hit it hard with uh, selling you see that the selling is greater than the buying in the previous bar and uh, straight down we go and I must admit when I said yesterday I was expecting something big coming down the line I wasn't talking about one bar in the two minute but uh, it was a surprise to uh, to see that so soon but uh, it is what it is I mean that's uh, great that uh, there is this weakness about it. it's about time uh, we actually saw a massive correction in this market uh, we then got another sell but again they started to buy into this and as I've said many times in the market alert as well they'll do whatever it takes within their power to bring the market back and when you've already dropped over 200 points it's very difficult to see how the market particularly in the DAX would actually move low unless there were some sort of uh, exceptional circumstances so prices uh, started to find uh, say there some buying coming into the market uh, and we're also uh, we can see we've got a retracement of about 78% and we've got the BRN and we've got all of this uh, buying uh, in uh, this area here as well. So prices uh, showing this support decided to get out of the trade and then the market uh, came back and then it came back. As I said, this is a predictable thing with uh, with the stock markets. They don't want it to collapse until they're ready to let it collapse. And the same with the metals, let them go when they want to let them go, when they've accumulated enough uh, metals as uh, the central banks have been doing since 2010. So then the pajama traders came on stream. They started selling the Dow and the market uh, moved lower it's tried to bounce and then we got into the afternoon session and uh, we see uh, the market moving lower and immediately we see them uh, buying back uh, into the market uh, down here you see that uh, coming in there and again with this go uh, careful of the plunge protection team coming into the dow which they did moving the market to the upside i got out of that one with a few pips and then traded uh, the upside and uh, the market getting to that 78 area 89 and then the market uh, coming back and closing below the five bar to uh, give a profit and then the rest of the session we see that the Dow uh, also started to move lower once more waiting for the uh, comments from the Bank of England and whilst waiting when well, they ran the market uh, to the downside there and then started to uh, bring it back once more so a lot of weakness around at uh, this time but like I say don't hold your breath they'll do whatever they can to try and bring this uh, market back and you can see they're starting to uh, do that in the Dow overnight at the moment and of course the uh, uh, DAX will be following that uh, as well uh, which you'll see there at the moment just uh, finding treading water and uh, attempting to uh, come back as well. Okay, that will do it for this one. If there is anything else to report, I'll let you know. But uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.